Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. So we've got the new competitive pass to go over. Maybe we see some egg rerolls today. I'm not really sure. But there's also something else we need to talk about. And that is someone is price locking cards on Xbox. If you don't know what that means... I'll talk about it. I do want to give a shout out to Flex and Pit for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a link in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, there is no NBA games today, but I will be doing some MLB picks. And to be honest, I may even do a college basketball pick as well for tonight. I believe tonight is the championship. So I might be doing a pick for that. I will have another booster for those of you guys that had the Merch Madness booster. I will have another one tonight. I'll be posting that up. If you guys want to check out Underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and follow me over on twitter for my mlb and potentially ncaa picks today as well all right so let's start this off by talking about the price locking and what is going on there right what is price locking what's happening well as you guys can see we currently do not have any 99 or actually 98 overall rather marshawn Lattimore is up on the auction house okay now you might think, well, it's just because no one's listing this card up. Well, unfortunately so, I don't believe that is the case. Now, I'm not sure if the price has officially adjusted in Madden yet. But let me show you what is happening and why this is a very, very bad thing. All right, so this is a video that someone tweeted me this morning. As you guys can see, right, Marshawn Lattimore has been selling for 143 coins when he does showcase here the uh, last sales. You'll see once again, 143 coins Lattimore is selling for. Now you might think, well, that's a little bit weird. I'm not exactly sure, you know, what's going on there. Maybe people are just winning the bids. Well, this is actually something that has happened in years past. And uh, I feel pretty confident in saying this, that someone is doing this on purpose. If you guys played Madden 22, then you are familiar with this situation right here. And it happened in particular with this LTD Amani. Now, if you don't know what happened, essentially, the way the auction house works this year, right? And how it's worked in the past, I think, two years now, uh, is you can only list cards for a certain price past their average selling price. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you guys may notice, you know, when it came out, like, with Team Diamond, uh, the John Elway, right? You know how the John Elway was only selling for 2 million coins to start and then shot all the way up to, like, 5, 6, 7 million coins, whatever? Yeah, that's because you can only list a card for 2 million coins max until there's a certain amount of those that sell at 2 million and then the price adjusts, right? Now, if you go to any card in your item minder right now and you click on it to sell, uh, it's going to say median price. So let's say you have a card that's median price is, I don't know, we'll go with uh, 25,000 coins, right? What is the absolute max that you're going to be able to sell that 25,000 coin card for? Well, it's going to be 125K. You can only list a card for five times the median price. So what happened last year was someone was buying up all the Amanis, right? This card right here, which was the best cornerback in the game at the time, and they were selling them for like 100 coins. So after a bunch of them sold for like 100 coins, guess what? All the people that had Amani, yeah, when you go to sell that card, you can only sell them for 500 coins max. So essentially this card became extinct and we never saw it again on the auction house because who's going to sell their card for 500 coins until he got Redux. As you guys can see right here, here is Marshawn Lattimore over on Mud.GG. Take a look in that top right. You see what's happening on Xbox? Yeah, his median price right now, according to Mud.GG, again, I don't know if this uh, is going to perfectly translate over here to uh, the Xbox's median price, but obviously there are no Lattimore's up. I don't know if it's completely adjusted just yet, but according to Mud.GG, it has, and he's 143 coins as his median price right now. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see like it hasn't actually shown yet. On, uh, well, that's PlayStation. We, we filter by Xbox. Look at that. His median price, yep, and it actually has. His median is 143 coins, and his recent sales as well, 143 coins. So, if you guys go right now to list up your Marshawn Lattimore, if you have one, 
you're only going to be able to list that card for a maximum of 750 coins you are pretty much stuck with that card unless you quick sell it pretty much that's the price lock situation for those of you guys that have that card on xbox uh according to mutt.gg right now i hope you like it because you're stuck with it unless you quick sell it ea get rid of this system that you have on the auction house it is atrocious and this is probably not going to be the only card this happens to throughout the rest of the summer people are going to start doing this more i don't know who did it the first time with this Lattimore, but from the first time we saw it last year it kept happening and as you guys can see Lattimore is actually not the only lt that is currently price locked on xbox if you guys also have harrison smith yeah uh, if you have that limited, he is also price locked. You're only going to be able to sell him for about 600 coins. And the same thing goes for Rodney Harrison. So, EA, uh, this is now two years in a row of people doing this. Can you get rid of this system? It's obviously faulty. Now, a little update here on Harrison Smith. Luckily, if you guys actually have a Harrison Smith, it looks like his price may have been saved. Currently, there are a ton of Harrison Smiths actually up for around 460k, 450k, whatever. And it looks like five hours ago, you can see the last one sold for 120 coins. I believe what happened was there was a bunch of these up at that same exact time for still around 430k, 450k. So because those cards were still up and they started to sell, I think that we got kind of lucky with Harrison Smith at least. And because those ones were already up and selling for 435k or so, it looks like his price is actually adjusted and now his median is back to 405. As for Lattimore and Rodney Harrison, I'm not sure on those. Lattimore, I feel like, is probably the most likely one to be just completely screwed because there's none up. All right, so I was going to sit here and wait for the comp pass to actually, you know, open up to showcase for guys. But you can see it's 1144 a.m. now, and uh, the comp pass keeps getting pushed back. It originally was supposed to, of course, uh, go live at 11. It used to be 10, then it got pushed back to 11 as of, like, recently. And then it said 15 minutes another 15 and now it says an hour and 45 minutes so as of right now anyways it should go live at about 1 30 so um we will go over the comp pass at 1 30 but i'm gonna go ahead and showcase for you guys really quickly the uh player which is larry zonka it's not crazy here is the comp pass player it is larry zonka 96 speed 93 excel 88 agility 95 carrying 97 trucking 90 break tackle yes Larry Zonka does have a team captain card, and yes, I'm also not a big fan of this card coming at all. But with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. I will catch you guys later this afternoon with the comp pass, whenever it goes live finally, and I will showcase the level 11 reward, all the objectives, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see how we get egg rolls today, but currently, nothing about that. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.